Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're going to talk about Epic Universe. Lots of updates have been happening, and we're going to go land by land, and even including Celestial Park, including the and some of the offsite hotels. See what's been going on. Again, all these photos are all thanks to BioReconstruct. Work on Celestial Park has been progressing quite nicely. You can see the cascading waterfalls right by the Atlantic Restaurant right over here. It's moving quite nicely, and all the waterbeds are filled with concrete and ready to go. Here are the two main water features that kind of cascade and waterfall down into the lower water features throughout the whole Celestial Park area. You can see the Super Nintendo World Portal to the north hand side and the How to Train Your Dragon Portal to the south hand side with this beautiful the decorative toothless element. Moving over to uh, Constellation Carousel, you can see the ride infrastructure has been put into place. You can see the three rotating um, little cylinders there. That was for additional movement, so the whole thing will be rotating like a carousel. And then there will be additional rotating um, turntables inside, so it will be almost like double rotating, which would be pretty cool. But you see there's some dots and some um, holes outside of those three cylinders, and that's because those are for the seats that just want to be like a normal carousel. And for people who don't want the additional motion, they'll have seats available right over there. Taking a look at this store outside of, I believe this is the Wizarding World area, and it's getting some nice green, green uh, tarp here. I, think, I don't think this is the finished color, I think this is the next primer, but it looks fantastic and nice to see a completed structure in the Celestial Park area. Below that, you can see the roller coaster, Starfall Racers um, kind of entry portal pad um, there, that, con that special concrete getting ready for its special colors. Moving over to the waterfall, the massive water show here. Um, I forgot the name, but it has a name. It's getting its infrastructure. All the pipes and nozzles are being being installed. This will start to look more and more like World of Color. You can see World of Color pops up, and they're doing maintenance of it on it at California Adventure. You can see all the nozzles. This is going to be like just like that, but just in a different pattern. This blue is uh, the final finish for this area, and then I'll have the rock work over there to the east side or the north side there with the water cascading down into the show. Parks on the Nintendo Superstore looking fantastic and its adjoining restaurant and restroom facilities are wrapping up as well. Moving on over to the Dark Universe. Look at that. Right here is the team member, uh, was believed to be a team member commons building. That's that scaffold or that steel structure going up behind the blading uh, Burning Blade Tavern over there. A little snack shack by the exit to the main e-ticket attraction is all done and looks fantastic with this wacky looking roof that matches the aesthetic of the land. The extended queue to the Monsters Unchained attraction looks fantastic. Again, continu continues to remind me of a, the gardens of the Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion here in Disneyland is getting a redo and the concept art kind of looks like these gardens here, which is funny how um, Universal beat them to the punch there, but yeah, it looks like there'll be a nice little interior queue section as well um, um, Covered by trees and an exterior or there's an entrance and exit to the interior queue right there and be going through the gardens and then into the mansion itself Here's a wider look at that ma mansion. All the scaffolding is almost done Just a couple more decorative elements they need to do on the forefront the entrance to the attraction and then they'll be working on all the tiny little elements like windows and they still have the uh, topper to put on the very top of that, the highest point in the Dark Universe land. But this ride and land have been shaping up fantastic as always. Looking at the entrance bridge, look at all those wonderful spikes. And again, that little area below would be like a little water feature kind of moat area like you would see surrounding a castle. And they're still working on the entryway which looks absolutely fantastic. I can love this aesthetic and I love it all the gothic dark rock work and spiky scary stuff it's gonna look really really cool especially at nighttime what's also gonna look really cool is the darkmoor village darkmoor village is getting some of its final uh finishes on its roof but still got a little bit ways to go their scaffolding is up on the entirety of the area but the actual buildings that will house the restaurants and retail locations are all done so just when finishing that facade work on the front hand Testing has been occurring on the curse of the rare werewolf coaster more frequently and Don Bio Reconstruct caught a photo of this coaster 
coaster train mid test and you can see they are spinning there this is a mock family spinning coaster and it's a free spin so it's not a controlled spin it's not like fast and furious hollywood drift or guardians of the galaxy Com cosmic rewind this is a free spinning coaster so the more weight your vehicle has or the less weight it will determine how much you spin and this will be uh go through a swing launch in that barn scene and yeah it's doing full cycle mid testing right now and apparently according to alicia stella the ride vehicles will these are not their final forms We'll be having de decorative elements in different colors, so that'll be very exciting to see as well. Moving over to the entrance to the park. Not too much has changed here, but the entrance portal looks just about done, at least with its first um, first co coat of paint. Not even paint, but it's all fully formed in terms of concrete. But there'll be yeah, that beautiful Kronos on top of it as well. The ticketing buildings and all the guest relations and lockers and all the good stuff is finishing as well and even has some uh, gold stripes and getting some paint jobs to the left and right on those buildings so that would be quite nice too. Taking a quick detour to talk about Stella Nova and Terra Luna. Let's take a look at these hotels since we haven't taken a look at them in a while. This is the Terra Luna Hotel. Uh, again a little bit a ways to go on the um, uh, the facade work, the colorful tiles on the facade work there but it's pool looking great. It almost looks like it looks like a, like a kind of a moon but also Kind of like Miss Pac-Man, which is hilarious. Looking at the Stella Nova. Oh, not looking at the Stella Nova. We're actually looking at the Grand Helios Hotel. The Grand Helios Hotel is almost finished. I mean, the topper has been is almost installed. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to see um, just steel right now. We can't wait to see all the finales installed there. But the facade work and glass have climbed up to just about the second to last four. And even some paint has climbed up. To almost the second to last floor as well so you can kind of see what this hotel is going to look like um and it's finished form at least from the back side now we're looking at the stella nova hotel again much more complete on the facade work but still has some work to do on the first two floors i wonder if i guess those will be rooms i guess you'll be able to stay on the first floor which is pretty interesting um again only speculating based on all those windows down there but could be something totally different the pool for stella nova sound looks pretty um it looks smaller compared to terra luna but still looks pretty good and the pool bar and changing rooms is complete as well checking out the ministry of magic area you can see this particular building getting some decorative elements almost all the scaffolding has gone from this whole land which is awesome and it looks just so gorgeous according to alicia stella this will be the entrance to the main e-ticket attraction the battle of the ministry which is the rumor named to that to that attraction here, just another picture of some more facades of the shops and restaurants still be in this very, very immersive land. I mean, these will be five-story buildings, so you won't, will not be able to see the rest of the park at all. In fact, you won't be able to see the rest of the land until you go to the main intersection of the five buildings. Here's just another um, look. This is rumored to be a florist. You can see that in the vines being installed there, the painted vines being installed on those three sections of the building. And there's even... Um, a name down there. Let's see if we can read it. Uh, I'm trying to see under those buildings, but I can't say. I think it says Venture, but we'll see uh, a better look later on, I'm sure, in the coming weeks of that name. And it represents maybe this florist right here. Outside of the Wizarding World's beautiful portal, you can see the land is being prepped for its colorful pavement. Again, each entrance to each attraction and land of the two attractions in Celestial Park and all the lands and the portals will have their own special payment area. This is probably where you'll do your check-in to do the face ID to get in to the land. And yeah, Harry Potter's is being prepped right now. Just an overview shot of this very compact but very tall land. And look at that massive show building. That is for the Battle of the Ministry attraction that you, that we previously talked about. That the entrance again is in the corner over there. But yeah, that's just a massive show building. And the other side, the, the building closest to that will be the stage show attraction and entrance to that stage show attraction which should be pretty cool but yeah this will be the tallest building and tallest dark ride and the biggest dark ride inside the entire theme park moving over to the more family friendly area how to train your dragon lots of kinetic energy will be happening over here with the roller coaster and all the outdoor rides and a lot, a lot of this park has indoor rides but this uh how to train your dragon i think we'll have a single indoor ride the only indoor thing will be the mead hall and the a stage show but yeah all the kineticism, kineticism with the roller coaster 
and all the flat rides in the jungle gym area will be fantastic and the whole land just looks fantastic actually let's take a look at that boat ride you see there's a nice little bridge here that takes you maybe it looks like it's going over that boat ride rumored to be named fire drills maintenance bay because there's just or maybe just some water feature but it looks like there's some track there but not for guests it looks like that's probably where the maintenance bay of this attraction is going to go attraction itself the main guest areas of it the main attraction for guests looks like it's all done at least that it has its finish on the bottom floor this bluish gray tint here more themey elements like those trees will be popping up on all those little supports there so be nice family from the splash battle boat ride Moving over to Mead Hall, you can see a lot of the rock work has been sculpted. Scaffolding is still up, but should be coming down in the next few weeks as this rock work continues to be sculpted. And then we'll move on to the painting phase, which will be quite nice. Here's an aerial overview of the entire land. You can see the main lake, a lot more theming elements on those Viking boats and the dragons themselves on what will be just a gorgeous entrance into this uh, entire land. The bridge where the roller coaster will dip underneath is just about complete and there's even some sheep over there on the roller coaster turnaround we'll get to that in a separate picture over here look at this this is the roller coaster is going to do a nice dip right here and it's rumored to be dip under some grandstands will be fake grandstands that'll be built um for this attraction the flat ride the wing gliders attraction uh, the the ring wing race attraction and the roller coaster is going to dip underneath those grandstands which is a pretty cool concept and here it is, our first sighting of a roller coaster train. Yes, a roller coaster train for the Hannah Trainer Dragon Ghoster is in the first show scene right now. It's all wrapped up, of course, so we can't see anything. But um, exciting. They're definitely, if not already, about to do some testing on this coaster. Full circuit testing. Here's a close look at those sheep. One dressed as a dragon, so uh, to try to camouflage themselves so they won't get eaten by the dragon, as you can see in the third Hannah Trainer Dragon movie. All of them are fantastic. I highly suggest you go watch them all. But yeah, this would be a nice touch, especially when this whole area, again, is filled with water. Just a shot of how big Mead Hall is. I mean, look how this is a massive section right here. It's 115 feet, I believe, above the ground. That is all under scaffolding right now and will continue to look impressive and be more, more impressive when all its decorative elements are installed. Jumping over to Super Nintendo World, the Mushroom, King Mushroom Kingdom's getting a lot of conduit in Saudi. You have a lot of like hoses and conduit um, hanging around here. They're doing a power wash and installing a lot of electrical elements as the main frame of the land is just about done and the staircases are done. Um, they just got to do a whole bunch of painting, but they'll do that when all this conduit and electrical activity has been installed. They're working hard on Peach's Castle though, on the front, the top, and the back of it. Looks fantastic. Can't wait to see those toppers installed. And again, this is where you'll be entering and exiting land, coming up and down those escalators or elevators. Mount Beanpole is just about done, at least the top of it. Looks, this should look very familiar to anyone who watches my channel and has been looking for at Universal Studios Hollywood. It looks just about the same. There's a couple of additional elements on the side. But yeah, the clouds are up. The thwomp is up. The, uh, just got to wait for Yoshi to get on there. Um, that moves around the tree. And Mount Beanpole is with the first done element inside this land. A quick cool angle of the Super Nintendo World here um, from Bio Reconstruct. This is pretty cool. You can see the Yoshis uh, with the water dummies testing and just the whole land. You can even see Donkey Kong right over there. And let's go check out Donkey Kong right now. The Donkey Kong element right here where you're jumping over the water or skimming over the water is looking better and better each day with the rock work being sculpted. Um, scaffolding is going to come down and then they'll be painting that because it's just about done. The Donkey Kong hut where you'll meet all the Kongs is done as well. That just has to be painted and has to have a couple of uh, pieces on, on top of it there. Looking at a, just an overview of the whole land, not more decorative pieces have been installed for the temple as you go to that show scene there, the whole wrecked temple. I love how it transitions from you know, that gray color to a goldish color and that gold will continue, the gold motif will continue onto the other side of the land. And they're still sculpting, there's one more big piece left to go and then it'll be just about done there. And this is a good picture because this shows you multiple levels of the coaster track. You can see three pieces of the coaster track, one on top, a couple on the bottom there. and uh, a lot of show scenes, show sets being installed, including the massive main monkey temple set that is being installed above that first lift hill, which looks pretty awesome as well. 
But yeah, this is a very complex coaster. I cannot wait to see it open in Japan this year. And yeah, be having you right here in the States just next year. And that is it. We've gone through all four lands and the hotels of Epic Universe. What is your most anticipated land now that you see it starting to come together and you've seen the official renderings of the land from Universal themselves? What ride are you most anticipated to, uh, to ride? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can become a YouTube member. Click that join button or check, click, uh, check our Patreon, patreon.com slash club722. If you want to also contribute, you can like and subscribe. That's free, and you can just share the video out to all your friends and family so they know what to expect when Epic Universe opens in 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, have an epic day.